<laughs> if, like if, what would earlier education look like? Because my partner who I dated, she said her grandmother, who was a nurse, gave her a book and the book made everything simple. She read that book when she was much younger mm-hmm. and she was like, the book simplified everything. And then it was, OK, I can have a conversation. And it's mm-hmm. like, are there books that we can buy for the kids to read? Do those even exist anymore? Mm. Or are there now political campaigns that stand in the way of education? Because like eventually everyone grows up to be an adult. Yeah. You can't not, you, you can't, can't stop growing. Mm-mm, you right. feel me? So yeah. it's like, mm-hmm. I, what does the education look like? And what does the concern, the real concern of parents should be when it comes to that? Because mm-hmm. we're not telling parents to not be concerned. We're telling parents that you should be careful that your concern can block the growth that mm-hmm. your child needs. No, you're good. After enough kids say, oh, my homeboy and me, we, you know, we shot mm-hmm. up, did some cocaine or something like yeah. heavy drugs or extreme extreme sexual activities and promiscuity, right? Mm-hmm. But that's appropriate, but the extreme and the overindulgence of it is where I'm like, how, how, how are we still, as teenagers, still functioning mm-hmm. to a capacity to make it through these eight hours? I think uh, adults watch that movie Kids, and they assume that's like just how everything is. Okay. You remember that movie Kids, Vaguely. that classic? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With the, I'll send you the link. Yeah. You'll see it. Yeah, You'll yeah, be yeah. like, wow, that's a deep cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep okay. classic movie okay probably one of the first movies that <laughs> i saw like kids having sex on film it wasn't a porn it was just mm-hmm. like the way the movie yeah. was shot and how quickly things could escalate and there was never any conversations there was never mm-hmm. any adult supervision there was never any hey man let's just gotta be careful because a lot of kids i think caught aids or something like that within okay. a movie and things like that too and it was just like dang this is dark so like that's what everyone they view everything as if it can happen it's only the dark side not the mm-hmm. have the conversation trust the people you've raised them mm-hmm. there's going to be hours you're not around and if there's hours that if you have to be around your kids for every single second minute and hour of their lives they're never going to be able to grow yeah. and know what independence is and when they finally have independence their independence is going to be more about how they can stay away from you because you're in the way of the good mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. instead of them reaching out to you when they do have a problem and they do want to have a conversation and a lot of adults mm-hmm. just aren't at that level and that and or it cripples them into always d- depending on yeah. your responses and your validation and so, dependence yeah then you yeah. have a kid who doesn't want to develop mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and so yeah watching those things and so then you have so that's when like the whole thing around like gender and sexual identity kind of comes in because you have mm-hmm. some kids who are just not underdeveloped but they don't their process around developing into that is just so staunch Mm -hmm. so of course they're stigmatized as well yeah and so that's just again happening throughout the school day um and so when it comes down to like sex education sex ed yes but not in the way that we were taught i think Mm -hmm. we need to do sex ed and i teach high school so i know younger years it's a little different Mm -hmm. but we get to be as honest as as some of these visceral videos that they're watching yeah you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. as as some of the stuff and the content that, that they're digesting we get to be as um transparent and more importantly we get to be a space of just i tell my kids look if you need a condom come find me mm-hmm. and a lot of times they'll come and they just want to talk to me about their problems that's it that's it yeah the condom just opens the door they actually just want someone to the finally fact, talk to because they look at me trust. and they're like you're an adult that said condom mm-hmm. they're real yeah they're they're a thing yeah and we and i was like y'all say way worse so and they if, probably <laughs> they've probably had these things happen at such a much earlier age compared mm-hmm. to back in the day that it's just like mm-hmm. there's finally an adult i can talk to and i don't get reprimanded for what I was taught, because yeah. it's kind of in a lot of the content and the media stuff that comes out anyway, and sex sells, and it's sold to a point that it's really in everything, whether you like it or not. That's so, it. That's yeah. It. When and it comes to you, about to say something. Nah, something's I, important. You, you, you said and. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. 
um, this this the, this the portion around exploration exploration of your body mm -hmm. and how that leads to sexual preference and and comfort around your gender identity. Mm -hmm. I think those are things that should be touched on around eleventh or twelfth grade. Yeah, and given space to expand on going into college. I think ninth and tenth grade they're they're still figuring it out. Would you say so? Touched on yes in terms of you said ninth and ninth and tenth grade. Yeah, I, yeah, because kids are gonna always talk about. <laughs> if, like if, what would earlier education look like? Because my partner, who I dated, she said her grandmother, who was a nurse, gave her a book, and the book made everything simple. She read that book when she was much younger, mm -hmm. and she was like, "The book simplified everything." And then it was okay. I can have a conversation. And it's like, mm -hmm. are there books that we could buy for the kids to read? Do those even exist anymore? Mm -hmm. Or are there now political campaigns that stand in the way of education? Because like eventually everyone grows up to be an adult. Yeah. You can't not, you, you can't, can't stop growing. Mm -mm, you right. feel me? So yeah. it's like, mm -hmm. I, what does the education look like? And what does the concern, the real concern of parents should be when it comes to that? Because mm -hmm. we're not telling parents to not be concerned. We're telling parents that you should be careful that your concern can block the growth that mm -hmm. your child needs. Because mm -hmm. we care. They're not our kid. Right. But we do care enough to yeah. say, hey, are you letting us care about your child with you? Or are you just simply mm -hmm. saying no? And then when things go wrong or things don't go as you would like or planned, what's the cleanup for that look like? Oh, because you can't just blame <laughs> right, the kids. The cleanup kind of, for me, the cleanup kind of mm -hmm. falls back on the teacher because, of course, the parent is like, well, if you saw this happening the whole time, why didn't you stop anything? Because, ma'am, you were, we got to be on the same page, on the yeah. same accord. And most, most parents don't want to have a relationship with their teachers. At all. No. Nah, At all. Nah, they don't, nah. they don't, no, no, no. Nah, no. And, like, and nah. most parents don't want to, again, they, it's, it's kind of hard to remember that your child is a kid, so to have that conversation with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, if... Again, if so, as far as the age, um, I think that's a, a family thing. It, mm -hmm. It's seeing that your your, your ex partner uh, having a nurse for a grandmother it may have just been a different environment growing up, where conversations just looked a little different. Mm -hmm. um, what What do you think? Sorry for cutting you no, off. You're good. But this is really yeah. important. What do you think the content for making a booklet? Or information when it comes to a kid who identifies as non-binary what do you think the three things that should be touched on that content need to be 